Welcome to San Francisco History. Today we are going to be kicking it old school, and I mean really old school, with the Ru Jia Mo from China. Uh, it was created sometime around 200 BC in the Shanxi region of China. Popular throughout China now, mainly made with pork belly outside of the region. The OG apparently was either lamb or beef. We're going to do beef today. Um, and it sounds pretty tasty, but I got to make the bun first, or as they call it, Bai Ji Mo. And apologies if I'm mispronouncing any of these. I'm trying. I looked up on Google Translate. I had it played a million times. I'm trying to nail it, but if I don't, sorry. First thing we got to do is mix instant yeast into water and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, now we do flour, pinch of salt, vegetable oil, and then our yeast water. Stir to combine. Now we have to knead it until we get a smooth dough. I need a little more water. So now we cover this with a damp cloth, let it sit for 15 minutes. It's a semi-fermented dough, it's not a fully fermented dough, so it's only about 15 minutes. Now we uh, roll it out into a log. The original recipe was supposed to make five, I'm making two, so we cut it in half. And we roll this out and have it tapered on both ends. And now we're to roll it flat. Now we're to roll them up tightly. Taking the outside and then doing this and then flattening it into a bowl shape. I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm not a very good baker, so this might be a disaster. <laughs> okay, so we cook them for one to two minutes in a hot pan uh, on each side, and then we put them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, into the oven 375 for about eight to 10 minutes. Okay, now we have to get started on our meat. I'm using flap meat. You could use skirt steak, you could use hamburger. Uh, what we need to do is add soy sauce, sesame oil, cornstarch. We mix that together until the cornstarch is fully dissolved. Next we add in cumin, fennel seed, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and then we mix that together well and let it stand at room temperature for 10 minutes. Okay, now we sear our beef. But just for a minute or two, we just want to Make sure it's not raw on the outside. We're going to take it out, put some other stuff, and put it back in. Finish it. And deglaze with some Chinese cooking wine. We'll throw in some onion and ground ginger. Okay, now we add the meat back in and juice this and cook it for another few minutes. Then we turn off the heat, add in uh, sliced green onions. We put some of this into our uh, bun, which did not turn out as well as I'd hoped. Okay, well, the buns are supposed to be a little bit bigger than this. I'm not very good at baking, but... What are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, let's give this rouge a mo a go. Come on, that is delicious. Between the onions and all those spices and the soy sauce, oh my god! Oh man, this is so good. Hey Barry. Yeah. Oh, hey Jim, sandwich idiot. What? Hey. Hi. I can't tell you how excited I am that you're trying Roja Mo, your sandwiches of history, and I can't think of a sandwich more historical than that one, at least certainly nothing that's older. If you don't mind, I'd like to suggest a plus up if I could. Well, yeah, of course. So they call Roja Mo the Chinese hamburger sometimes, and hamburgers, to me at least, need mustard and pickle. So a Chinese ingredient that can kind of sub in for both is pickled mustard greens. Uh, it's a little bit crunchy, very sour, a little bit pungent. Uh, it's really very good. It's going to bring flavor and texture of both mustard and pickle maybe to this. So I hope you like it. Okay, I'm in. Let's do it. Pickled mustard greens. Okay, let's give this plus that rouge amo a go. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better, it did. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, so here's the thing. The rouge amo is typically uh, a, a bun and they put a little pocket into it and they stuff it with meat. They don't fully separate the two pieces of bread, but I would argue the intention is that it is a sandwich. And if you have a problem with it, you can just go ahead and cut it and make it into a sandwich. I first learned of this sandwich from the book from Gastro Obscura, a Food Adventurer's Guide. Highly recommend you go check out that book. Tons of facts. Uh, there's a recipe for the pork belly version in there as well, and it's it's just a great book. Okay, so the original was really, really tasty, and I was fixing to give that a 10 until my man Jim, sandwich idiot, who you should definitely check out and follow, uh, came in with a suggestion on the pickled mustard greens. Just blew it out of the water. That was That is definitely 10. So the plus the version, 10. The original, 9.5. Uh, the beef is just so good. All those flavors, uh, all those spices, the warm spices, the onion, the ginger. Oh, so good. All right. See you next time.
One more time. Ruja Mo. Ruja Mo. Ruja Mo. Okay, 